this is Verity from Southampton Solent University. This is AutoCAD for architectural technologists, architects, interior designers, people who need to draw buildings. In this first tutorial where we're actually going to start drawing, we're going to set up the outline of the house that we're going to draw. And the first thing that we're going to do is not a drawing at all, we're going to set up some layers. If we look at the ribbon here, we've got the layer panel and the top left button is the layer properties button. If we click on that we'll open up a list of layers. And this is our la layer list. The only layer on the list is layer naught, and I wouldn't expect to see anything actually drawn on that layer. Everything in our drawing ought to have its very own layer and its own layer name. We're going to be starting off by drawing walls. So if I click on the new layer button, and the walls that we're drawing will be design walls. They are for the design element of the drawing, not for construction. So I'm going to give it a prefix for DES for design, and then walls. I'll stick with a white colour. I'm going to use quite a thick line for this one. 0.35 should be fine. And now I'll create another layer. And this one is going to be for my setting up. I find it useful to have a layer that I use for just for setting up the drawing for all those odd little lines you use to make the drawing possible but you never actually want to see. So this is going to be called construction setup. I'm going to make it quite a dark colour. It'll be a colour that you can see reasonably easily on the screen I hope. Normally I'd use something darker than that for my own use. I will OK that. The line weight doesn't matter because I'm going to set it up so it never prints out. It doesn't matter how many lines I've got lurking around my drawing, they won't print out. So if I click on the printer icon there, you can see it's changed to a, a slightly different icon with a no entry sign. That means it won't print. Any time you're trying to print a drawing, if you find things won't print out, check the layer properties because it might be in the layering. And I want that to be my current layer, so I can either click on the tick up here or just double click at the edge here, and that's now the current layer. I'm going to turn off layer naught so I can't actually draw anything in it and close my layer properties because I've now got the layers that I need for this first tutorial. First thing I'm going to draw are some construction lines. If we go to the draw panel, if we click on the title bar at the bottom, that opens us up some new commands and the one that we want is this one with two arrows. It creates a line of infinite length. Now you'll see the cursor has changed. It used to have a little square in the middle and now we've just got a cross. That's because we're in the middle of a command. It doesn't matter where we start, I'll just do a click here and then you can see as soon as I move away from that click point I've got a line and I want to one vertically and I want one horizontally. I could carry on making lines all over the place but I don't actually need to. So to finish that command I can either press return or the spacebar or escape. I'm going to delete the lines I don't want so if I click on them one after the other I can just press the delete key on the keyboard and they're gone. The alternative is erase in the modify panel. Okay so we've got one corner of our house set up. Now that we've got a couple of lines we can start to set up our other lines and instead of drawing new lines I'm going to use some of the modify commands to create my next lot of lines. What I want to do is set up the outside profile of this house and to do that I'm going to use offset. We're going to be using offset a lot in this tutorial. An offset is the one that looks like a funny cloud just up here. So if I click on that in the modify panel you can see that it's telling me at the, in the command line it's command offset and asking me how di what distance I want. So I need to tell it how far I want this line to offset. Well the building from front to back is 17 meters and as we're working in millimeters my offset distance needs to be 17,000. Enter to confirm that and then, then it's asking me to select the object. So if I click on the one I want to offset click on the side I want it to offset it and it looks as though nothing's happened. I'm going to press enter to close the command and zoom out to find my line because it will be there I promise you. I can use the middle wheel on the mouse to zoom so I'm just going to zoom it towards me you can see it going away and to pan around that drawing if I press down the middle wheel I get the little hand icon and it won't go any further. That's not a problem. Model space the place that we're drawing in is infinitely big, but sometimes AutoCAD artificially sets its own limits. If we regenerate the drawing, so we'll go RE for regenerate, and you can see next to the command line at the bottom, regen is the option it's come up with. Click on that, lo and behold, look, we've got our two lines. The building width 
is 6120 millimeters so I'm going to offset again my distance is 6120 enter to confirm that click on the wall click on the other side and now I'm just going to finish off my external walls which I'm assuming for the design purposes will be 300 millimeters thick I want the offset command again but because I've just used offset all I need to do to get it back is click on enter so enter has opened up offset my walls are 300 millimeters thick and we can offset these three walls 300 millimeters inwards and because it's a pair of semis this is a party wall this one goes outwards so that's the outside walls of our house set up the other thing we need to show in our walls is window openings and because the back wall is the most complicated I'm going to zoom in on that show you the principles if I carried on using these construction lines to set up every window I'm going to end up with such a forest of lines in this drawing that it'll be far too confusing. So what I need is a range of lines running across this back wall picking up on my window position. So if I go to the line command up here and just click on that I'm going to do a short length of line starting on the inside of the wall that I'm wanting to set up the construction lines for and going a little way along towards the outside. If I do an enter to finish this command it looks as though I've done absolutely nothing. If I float the cursor over it though you can see my little line just there. Now I'm going to do some more offsetting to set up the window positions across this back wall. My first window is 615 millimeters from the edge. So float the cursor till I find the line I want, click over. Enter to reopen the offset command. My offset distance for the inside of the window is 635 millimeters. Click on my line, click there. Same again, 615, door and window opening is 2700 and then we've got another 615 all of these sizes by the way are brick dimensions which is why we've got funny sizes like 615 and 635 so that's our windows set up running across the house it doesn't look like much but trust me it will all come together now I'm going to set up the windows around the rest of the house and the positions of the internal walls using the same technique and we'll get back together again once that's done now I've got most parts of this set up I want to show you a couple of things. These two little lines here, zoom in just here, there's going to be a cloakroom and a utility room just here and then opposite on the other side of the hallway a cupboard. I could draw myself a new line all the way across here and then copy it and, and offset it and do a lot of faffing about like that but I don't need to so I'm going to get rid of that. If I click on this little line here you can see it's got three blue dots, one at each end and one in the middle. If I grab hold of one of the end dots, I can just pull the line out to the length that I want. I could change its direction if I wanted to. And you can see it following the cursor around the drawing. When I've got it to where I want it, I need to click to finish putting it there. And I'm going to do the same with all the rest of these guys. Because I've got my polar switched on, it's always going to try and go in a straight line. You can see that it's kept every line that I've highlighted highlighted to take away the highlighting of those I need to escape that. What I want to do now is put a, a window right in the middle of this wall. If I draw a line from one side of the wall to the other, enter to start the command again. I'm going to make the first point of my new line snap to the midpoint of this one. You see you've got the triangular midpoint snap and just come to outside the building. Enter to stop. Now all I need to do is offset that by half the, the width of this window. The window width in total will be 9-10 millimetres, so I need to offset it by 455. I can start the offset command with the button up here, or if I simply type O for offset, enter to confirm that, distance 455, enter, and then offset that either side. That's the outside of my window set up. And if I want to just get rid of the, the spare lines, because they get confusing, will delete those. Now I've got my window set up all the way around the house so I can start drawing in my outside wall and I'm going to do something deliberately wrong and then show you how easy it is to put it right. Instead of using the line command I'm going to use a command called polyline and that makes lines that are joined up to each other. That has huge advantages. The more complicated drawings get the more advantageous it is to use polyline. I'm going to start in the corner of the kitchen there 
that will snap to the intersection or perpendicular to the line here. The nibs in the kitchen that are supporting the beams that are holding up the wall above are 300 millimetres. To draw a line that's specifically 300 millimetres long, all I need to do is make sure that the cursor is heading off in the right direction, type the length I want it and do an enter and that will confirm that line. So now I've got a line here, a bit of line that's exactly 300 millimetres. Snap there, snap there, and then we'll do this one. And all I'm doing, you can see how fast it is, just following my setting up lines. And I'm going to stop there. I'm going to close my line there because I'm going to draw my internal walls with a separate polyline because I think it'll be more useful when it comes to drawing the first floor. Now you can't actually see what I've drawn and this was the deliberate mistake because I've drawn it in the wrong layer. I want that to be in the design walls layer not to be in my construction setup layer because it won't print out and you can't see it. If I just hover you can see that the line I've just drawn is highlighted. If I click on that you can see it's got lots of of these grab handles. Grab on any of them to pull them. I can do all sorts of other things too. But all I want to do is change the layer of this. I don't have to change layer and then redraw it. I can simply go up to the list of layers in the layers panel, click on it to get the drop down list and click on design walls and just watch the polyline I just drew. Bingo. I hit escape. You can now see my external wall. It's as easy as that. If you draw something in a wrong layer, click on it to highlight it, go to the layer drop down list Click on the layer you want it to be in and you're sorted. Now I'm going to show you something else useful. The layer I want to be in is my design walls layer. If I highlight that again and click on this button here, this one makes current the layer of the object that you're in. So if I click on that, you can see up here it's now showing the design walls layer. That's telling me that that's the layer that I'm drawing in. Simple way to change settings and it's simple ways of doing things are what I want you to be bringing out of this. I've got a window here and then a little rectangular bit of wall and then the big door and window in the middle and another rectangular bit of wall. Because it's a rectangle I could draw a polyline one click 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 and I can simply close that by typing C for close and enter. Alternatively, I could use another command to draw a rectangle and that's the rectangle command just here in the draw menu. If I click on that, I can click on one corner, click on the other corner and it's done. So that's our house so far. Now I'm just going to draw in the rest of my external walls and I'll come back to you when that's done. OK, that's my external walls drawn, but you can see I've made a bit of a mistake in the corner over here. If I zoom into that, my polyline's wrong. But again, I don't need to redraw it. All I need to do is click on it, grab the drag handle, pull it to, put to where I want it to be to straighten it out. Very, very, very simple and quick. That's the great thing about AutoCAD. What I've also done, if I escape to get rid of that, is set up my internal walls, which I'm now going to draw again with a bunch of polylines. These here are the doorways, set up in the centre of the wall here, exactly the same way that we did before. We need to change to the walls layer. I can click on that, click on walls, and I'm in. And back to my polylines to draw my internal walls. A okay, bit of a bloop there, but we won't worry about that because I can sort that out. Enter to start again. Well, the one thing I haven't put, put in is the doorway here. Let's pick an arbitrary location for it. Okay, that's the end. That's finished. I'll just correct this one. Pick up that vertex, pull it back to where it belongs. Sorted. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial. If I zoom out, you can see what we've drawn. We've just got the outline of all the walls in the house. The next one will be for doing windows and then doors.